<sighs> Hello everyone, um, we are making a, s not a fairly substantial change to the sports show, because we found that we don't always want to talk about just sports all the time. So, we have actually changed from the sports show to the Man Cave Show. Starting this episode, we're going to be called the Man Cave Show. Um, we're going to talk about sports beer, rants, raves, about stuff men should, I guess, be talking Pretty about. much anything that really interests us will be uh, chatting about it. Uh, any, It could be anything. So. Yeah, like we actually have a few monkey wrenches thrown in there already that we won't divulge too into until the time we'll see, comes. See yeah, exactly. So to start off the Man Cave Show 1... I'm gonna put the pizza beer away, <laughs> and I'll pull up. Do you have enough butter right now for yep, I a little drink? Yep. So I'll crack this, and we'll just do a toast to the man cave show. To the man cave. Show. To the man cave. Okay. Um, so, with that burp in mind, we are talking about beer on this one. Um, not just beer, but do you like canned beer, bottled beer, or beer on tap? Those are the three things that we're going to be talking about tonight. And, Curtis, what would you rather have? Definitely beer on tap for me. Um, uh, it's, it's just so... Nice and clean, like, I, it, definitely not in a can, you know, as much as I am doing it right now. Yeah. But, if you I... You can't really have a keg sitting right here no, as much exactly. as it would be yeah. really <laughs> nice to have a keg sitting in front yeah. of us. No, but definitely on tap for me, uh, any, really actually anything in a can, I, it just, you know, it tastes that, it, you get that tea taste. Yeah, you get the tea uh, taste. And so, even in a bottle, I find it... That it's a lot better than drinking it out of a can, but uh, you know, whenever you go to, po you know, whenever I go to sports bars or whatever, I usually just try and get a pint. I try, I try and stay away from just having a bottle, just because, you know, I'll have the house beer even, and if it tastes like shit, I'll still have it on tap. Yeah. You know, so. Um, for me though, I think, on tap is, really good. Um, at our, BP's Boston Pizza. Um, I normally don't go for the pint anymore. I found it's more feasible in my pocket, where my wallet is, to get the big schooner, because you get like an extra half a beer or whatever with it for the $10. Yeah. So I always go for the schooner, because um, it takes me a well, while, but I usually go through it. Um, cans are okay, depending on what I'm doing. If I'm... If you're out in the bush somewhere, the cans are probably Out the in the bush, cans are the best. Bottles are okay, depending on the kind of beer, but yeah. if they don't have the beers I want on tap, I'd most likely go for bottles. Fair enough. Um, so, talking about that, Curtis, all-time favorite beer, number one in your pocketbook, what would it be? Well, I will be maybe a little biased because I'm drinking it right now. Uh, I will say Budweiser. Uh, this is the beer that I really got me, f I don't know if I fell in love with beer at that point, but it was the beer that, you know, I drank it out of a bottle on my, inspired you, basically, on my 18th birthday, it was kind of like the one, the beer that I wanted after having about 18 different shots of <laughs> stuff, and uh, it was the one beer that I, you know, I thought, you know, I can handle it, it's not a, it's a, it's, I can handle the taste, you know, I was still getting used to beer, you know, I had Canadian before that. Wasn't the biggest fan of Canadian. Yeah, at the Canadian's time. not a great beer to have on your first time. No, that was, you know, I'll tell you later who got me started on that one. But, anyways, uh, I, uh, I can probably <laughs> get your big smirk on your face. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but yeah. But so, ooh, actually, I don't. That's just your monkey wrench from what you told me before. Anyways, hmm. I'll tell you later. The but you know Budweiser, I find it's just it's, you know, you don't have to really fake too much about it like it's it's a great it's a good beer and it's it goes down pretty smooth yeah i mean yeah there, i've tasted a lot of beers that are i would say that they're they're better 
but I find that this is the most the most consistent beer that I've had since I've started drinking, which feels like forever ago, and it's four years ago. So <laughs> um, feels like forever ago. Yeah, it feels forever. But for me, I like Budweiser, and I'll have it. I actually like it in a bottle a lot, maybe even more than on tap, to be honest. But I like it in a bottle. Nice. Um, I kind of have two beers for this one, um, just because if I'm out at a bar or restaurant. I'll see if they have kokanee, because I just feel kokanee is actually really good. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the golden beer, because when you go into the liquor store and look at it, it's $40 for a 24 in cans. So it kind of hits the, hurts the wall a little, little bit. But if I'm just at the liquor store looking for a case, I'd probably go for Keystone. Keystone. Keystone, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I... I um, I will say when I first started drinking, Kokanee was the one beer I actually didn't like. Really? I couldn't figure out why. But when I, you know, when I went to university, of course, that was really the one beer they kind of, everybody kind of wanted. And I'm like, really? You want Kokanee? It's like, okay. And, you know, I, at first I kind of resisted because I'm like, I just, I'll say anything but Kokanee. But then after a while, I was like, do you want a Kokanee? I'm like, Okay, I'll have a Kofi. And, you know, I've gotten used to Kofi. I don't mind Kofi now. And, and Keystone, I remember when the first time I had that was at Last Class Bash my first year. Yeah. And it just came out in Canada at that point. And, uh, you know, we took it and we're like, you know, this is pretty watered down, but, you know, it's still good. Yeah. Threw it up a little later. But, uh, <laughs> it, you know, I, but Keystone definitely, you know, it's easier on the pocketbook for sure. Yeah. Uh, so... Um, we are going to talk about a few different beers that we have kind of talked about for different situations. Um, so for when life gets you down, and you're more than welcome to comment for, like, if you see the Man Cave show on YouTube and you're like, that's some cool stuff, um, you're more than welcome to comment and tell us. So tell us what you, did, like, what beer you drink for when life gets you down. And Curtis, what do you drink? Well, it's not this beer, but it's close. What I do is I drink Bud Light Lime. Uh, this is the Bud Light Lime Mojito. If you've but watched our sports show, yeah, you'll the understand where you've this seen came our from. beer taste test. We've actually done the Bud Light Lime Mojito, so it's yeah, so it's close to what I was going to say. But yeah. my my beer choice, if I'm down, uh, Bud Light Lime. I you know I actually am one of those people that actually kind of like the taste of having you know, a little fruit in the, in the beer, you know, and, uh, uh, Bud Light Lime just, I remember at Christmas time one year, it was Christmas in Lethbridge, and, um, well, it wasn't Christmas in Lethbridge, but it was my Christmas, <laughs> in, it was my Christmas in Lethbridge with my friends, and before yeah. I went back home, I remember I drank, I don't know if I was down at that point, but I just remember, you know, I went there, and, you know, I think everybody was in relationships and stuff like that. You know how that is. Oh, I know. And so, <laughs> it's preaching to the choir here, but <laughs> but uh, no, I, you know, I had I had a full case of of uh, Bud Light Lime and and I and I drank it all. I don't know how I did it. I drank it from five o'clock to about nine o'clock. I have no idea how I drank a full twelve pack of beer. A twelve pack in it was four hours. That's not bad. And it was Bud Light Lime. Um, I could, oh, I have a worse story for you. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I think Bud Light Lime is just a little bit, the, the, the fruit, the fruits in it just kind of takes your mind off of the beer for a little bit, even though beer is good itself, but I like having the little fruit, fruity flavor just to, you know, it takes your mind off of everything. Yeah. Um, for me it is, well, it's easy question for me, even though I, I don't even know why I had to look. But for me, it's any really because when life gets me down, I'm I just go for the first thing that hits me, like any beer other than stouts. And I should have pointed this out. I don't like dark beers. I'm more for the light beers, not the mm. not the cans that say light, but the ales and the ipas and premiums the, and the, the premiums and stuff like that. Just not the darker stuff where. Like the Guinness, it's kind of like a coffee tasting beer. Well, I, I, I'll it's say, I'm, yeah, I'll say I'm not a huge fan of the Guinness, but actually I've started to learn to like the the darker beers. 
uh, Rickard's Red is actually one that I don't mind. Actually, yeah. although the last time I had it, it tasted like it was there was like milk in it or something. Ooh. And definitely, like Maybe I they didn't wash the glass. No, I t I oh I told the bartender to taste it herself, and she's and she tasted. But she like, tasted it. Yeah, she tasted it. <laughs> and, she, and I asked her, does that does that Health does that taste pollution. to you like does that does that taste to you like Rickard's Red? And she's like, yeah. Like, well, that's not how my first one tasted, so I have no idea. Where? But anyways, uh, to, so for me, anyways, I, I don't mind the, the darker beers. I, I think you, you have to try the right ones Yeah. in order to get the right taste. There's actually, you know, if you try the Honey Browns, those are actually very good. And yeah, that'll I've start never to actually had a Sleeman Honey Brown, oh, but you should I heard it's supposed to be You should try the Honey Browns. The Honey Browns are actually really good. And that Gosh. might wean you more towards the, the darker beers. Maybe we can do that for the next man game. Maybe. That's probably what we should do. Uh, so, Curtis, when you want to sit and relax, what do you pick? Well, I wish I could do that. I can't. But anyways, when when I just want to sit and just... <laughs> when I just want to sit and relax, just, you know, wherever, I like to, I like to actually have, um, like, a, a Rickard's White. And it, like this beer, it, you don't you don't have this beer all night because you can't drink it all night. Yeah. For me, anyways, I know I know a friend in Lethbridge who could, but uh, for me, anyways, I like it, this beer just because it's a little bit, it's it's another fruity type beer, but it's a beer that you can uh, you can sit down and you got and you can enjoy it, and I feel like that's the relaxing part of that of just having that beer. I'm not a huge it's it's a pretty thick <laughs> beer, I would say. Yeah. It's a thick beer, and it's you know with with the orange and the fruity stuff in it. But um, it's but I, that's the beer I like to just have because it's a on a nice hot day after like uh, after you've had to move out of your place and move, move, take, move all your furniture out. Yeah. And you just you just want oh I'm just so thirsty and you just want something. It's screw, a nice long screw day the water. The I want a Rickard's White. Yeah, that's a nice long day out at the farm too, where it's just. 30 degree weather yeah. and it's just long. Yeah. The thing is, I, I will say though, I wouldn't have it outside. I would rather... It'd be an inside beer? It, it, to me, I think it is because I because when I... I went to Montana's after I moved out of Lethbridge one time and that was the one... I, you know, it was a long day and we were inside and I'm... I guess too, you wouldn't want to probably have it in 30 degree weather but with air conditioning. Yeah. It's, because it's, you know... To me, because it's already... You're already cooling down, so it's very complicated to explain when I'm when I'm the only one that understands what I'm saying, but Rickard's White is, in short, is my beard to relax to. Nice. Um, I guess for me it's Pilsner, even though um, Curtis knows that I can drink beer all day, every day. Mm -hmm. doesn't really matter what kind of beer. Um, but after a long, hard day, I actually don't mind coming home to a nice cold pilsner. Mm. Uh, straight from the bottle, I could, like, I'll, I could drink it every day, but it's just very refreshing and thirst quenching. Mm. But. Plus, he's a Ryder fan. So. Yeah, Ryder fans kind of get the, and my shorts too. Um, yeah, surprisingly, I got all dressed up. I got, like, a, my Saskatchewan Rough Rider bandana, my Rough Rider jersey, Rough Rider shorts and Rough Rider boxers on. And the way they play tonight, I might have to keep that going. It is the preseason, by the way. It's not... <laughs> preseason is free season. That means nothing. It is the preseason. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> what, we'll imagine see. if they get to the Great Cup, what he'll be wearing. I have a... That flag, I could make into a cape and everything. Like, Paint you your may face and... Watermelon your, on the head. No, dye your hair. That's what you've been... No... no Rough right, Ruffy fans put a oh, yeah. watermelon on their head. Oh well, yeah, but you can and then I could put the bandana around it. I'd be set. Um, but for the nice beer, even though we kind of talked about it, the beer we could drink all day, every day, which not necessarily could be our favorite of all time, but it end up being our all time. It, it it did for me and uh, probably for you too, because yeah, it. Because, you know, I, I think Budweiser just, you know, like I said before, it was it's a reliable beer for me, and, and I feel, it, you know, it's just comforting to, yeah. 
And, you know, it doesn't matter if it's really early in the morning and you need a beer or it's late at night and you drank it the entire day. Budweiser, I think, is just where it's at. Ooh, monkey wrench at ya. Um, what would be your shower beer beer? Shower beer beer. Hmm. Oh, shit, I, I should have thought of that, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a tough one, just because... Mm, ooh, I know. Shower beer beer. Ooh. I will say, just because I like this beer, and it seems, I don't know, people with royalty probably do it and have it in the shower, too. I don't know. <laughs> I'd be I, sweet I, if the queen had a shower <laughs> beer. My beer of choice would be Stella. I like actually Stella. I I, <laughs> I, I like the Stella. The it's uh, it's like <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Nigel, give me a Stella. Why don't you go have a bow? On my way. <laughs> but um, and in seriousness, so. A shower beer would be nothing without Stella for me. I, I think I, I like Stella, and I, I I just don't know where I would actually like be the one place where I would actually want Stella more than anywhere else. And I just think the shower is is a good as place. Again. Nice. So that's my answer to this. I think. Um, for me, I think it's gonna be Bud Light Platinum. Um, it's a smooth, lighter taste. Mm. But if you think about it, it's six percent beer. So, it's not a light beer. It's well, it says it's a light beer, but it's not. <laughs> I think they just mean it's the not. taste is. This light. is four percent. This is a light beer. I think they just mean the taste is light. Yeah, I guess. So with that, and the alcohol percentage is six percent, you don't need to drink that many to get drunk, right? So, I just feel with the conditions of the shower and the Bud Light Platinum, it can create a better high, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, and, what the, oh, and for all the view, well, six or seven viewers who might watch this right now, and for the potential millions in the next 400 billion years who might ever see this, um, when you walk into a bar or a club, or even a liquor store for that fact, are you terribly offended if they're sold out of your beer? Let us know in the comments below, and let us know. Hmm. Um, if you care if it's bar, club, or even if you're at the liquor store, and if it matters, doesn't matter. And Curtis, what would you say? Well, it it's not a beer that I normally have, or I've never had it before, but it did happen to me today. Yeah, with, that is very with true. We, w there was a beer that we will not say what it is yet, but there is a beer that we're trying to get so we can uh, test it, and it's and for some reason in t in our in our local area right now it's a very highly coveted beer, and so it's always well I've only been there once so I can't say it's always sold out but it was sold out today when I went there yeah and I was really looking forward to having this beer and you know I, I to me I'm not. I, I don't take beer personally. Like, beer is beer. Like, if if like if Budweiser was sold out, I'd probably have Keith's. If Keith's was sold out, I would have. You just Bud have a line or like, Bud Light wine or, or, or Stella. Like, you know, you can go to different things. It's like because remember if, like, I like Budweiser, but if, but you know, I haven't had Stella in a while, and yeah. if I see Stella, it's like, oh, I haven't had Stella in a while. I should have that, yeah. or I haven't had Bud Light wine in a while. So that's probably what I would do. Yeah. And actually, the one beer that I totally forgot that I should have added to some sort of list of mine was Alexander Keith's, oh. is because I actually love Alexander Keith's, and that mu I think that might be almost my favorite beer, just because that, as much as Bud Weiser's is a smooth taste, Keith's is super smooth. I yeah. love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's just about like drinking water. Yeah, it basically is, and uh, it's a it's that's one of the beers that I f forgot to mention. So there. So there you yeah. uh, um Alexander Keats is a great beer. Um or e or Moosehead. Moo. Moosehead's pretty good. Um I don't really care about beer because I do just like Curtis. I have a list of beers that I go through or 
I just walk through. Well, this looks good. It's steam whistle. Let's try it. I found a beer from Mexico. It looks cool. I have a handful of cans in my room. That cans and bottles that I've just picked up one can or one bottle of random beer. Mm -hmm. And it's like the ones I've actually liked so far. Do you want to go back and try them? Or even we could bring them back to the show if we can find them. <laughs> yeah. We can do stuff like that. Um. I got I got a monkey wrench for you. Oh. So. I don't like monkey wrenches. Well. Out of okay, you can pick any movie that you any movie any TV show any anything. Any anything. Any anything. Lamp. That, that is not real. Lamp. <laughs> anything that you've seen on TV or on the internet or, you know, in a movie. Yeah. What is the one fictional beer that you... It's a, t it's a very... I they have fictional <laughs> beer? <laughs> okay, there's a certain way I'm going with this, and I'll, to and, I'll show and I'll tell you my answer once I've done the question. Okay. What is the, f what is the f one fictional beer that you wish was actually... Not maybe actually real, because they probably are real, but what is the one beer that you wish you could taste in its ver in its original version? Where I'm going with this is... Okay. I would say Duff Beer. It's... it now. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what's it, the I know, it, I had to come a long way to get to this, but, you know, with Peter the Simpsons... Yeah, exactly. With the Simpsons, and, you know, with... Th that was probably the most famous fictional beer for the longest time. Now, of course, I, it is probably a real beer. Um, but probably down in Springfield. Well, it is, but I think I don't know. I, this question was a lot better prepared in my mind than it was when I came out with it because it's, it's either that or the Pawtucket Patriot and Family Guy. Yeah, I was gonna say it was either because I couldn't remember what it was called, but I was gonna say either the Family Guy beer, and then after you said the Simpsons beer, I thought of that. Yeah. But other than those but two, the, the, there, there probably, isn't really, there isn't really anything lot. else. Yeah. So that was a stupid question. Well done, sports guy. Uh, uh, okay, you think of another question. <laughs> I'll get two beers for a beer chug. Okay. We'll I'll be back. Talk to the viewers. So, uh, what are you wearing? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's probably getting pretty hot in there, eh? Are you being special? <laughs> All I heard was, Hanu. <laughs> no, I was like, what? Uh, you'll see it. <laughs> Alrighty. So, because I love doing these, and oh, we gotta catch up. I have one here. You, oh, you have one there? Well, I didn't. Well, I was gonna give you a cold one. I was drinking this one. and this. Do you want a cold one to chug or a warm one? I'll have a warm one to chug. Alright. So, if you've watched our third set in our sports show. We've done these before. And we will do a beer chug. Uh, full can? A full can. Full can. Alright. Um, so, if you guys want to do beer chug. If you're under age, we should probably say this before we go any further. If you're under age in your country, we don't endorse. Or your region. Or region or wherever. We don't endorse underage drinking. I'm 20, turning 21 this year. He's 21. 22. 22. Well, I'm at 21, turning 22 this year at some point, which you already did on Monday. But uh, um, I just kind of forgot about that. <laughs> so we are legal. Well, I'm just in, legal in Alberta. In Alberta. Um, but I just I was gonna say I'm just about legal everywhere. Just but you're legal everywhere. I'm legal everywhere. So we aren't actually doing anything wrong. We're just talking about shit we love, and it's beer. So. All right, let's do a cheers. Cheers to the overage drinkers and the non-underage drinkers. Cheers. Cheers.
you can. This is on TV right now. It's a very TV right now. As you can. Awful. Well, I'll show everyone since this is the right way. Well, I'll get the last little bit. That was the last <laughs> little bit of my beard. And I kind of feel sad that it fell out. Um, but beer chug was done. And did you think of another monkey wrench? Oh. Well, I'm trying to entertain the folks with beer and with well, I said asking as them I what they were wearing and, and uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just get that one creepy guy that says he's in like a wool speedo <laughs> oh how are we supposed to know <laughs> oops maybe that's me who knows um you have a wolf speedo maybe <laughs> um